can get into the dill analysis. All right, so this is really the spreadsheet um, that I run my numbers on and look at everything. And so I'll just show you um, how I do that. Let's see. So uh, the way that it works, so the purchase price of this facility is $395,000. It's only making $32,000. It's only making $32,000, okay? And I ran it at an eight cap. Now the question is like, what is the cap rate in this area? I don't know, you know, I ran it at an eight cap because I just feel comfortable with an eight cap. But typically in in you know in cities like augusta sometimes you know it could be you know five six seven caps you know you guys tell me does anybody know what the cap rate in augusta is i ran it at a mid cap all right and um the in the loan and the interest rate i haven't put anything in yet we could just put four you know we put four percent and put like you know um 240 months maybe you know typical uh you know a typical interest rate but um but I, but they, they made $32,000. I've made $32,000 last year. It's 116 units. It's 11,000 square feet and it's 25% um, full, 25% full. All right. And um, so really this thing is not worth anything at all, honestly. I mean, it's barely making $32,000. So it's really not worth a lot of money. So the question is, when you look at a deal like this, how much money can you make? So it, when you analyze mismanaged facilities, you want to, you don't want to look at the as is income, because if you look at the as is income, then guess what? You ain't ever going to buy a storage facility. That's for sure. Right. And, that, and if you want to look at the as is income, then you should be looking at income producing properties. Right. And not mismanaged facilities. What I do is I look at the value add on the back end. Now, obviously, this property here, um, it is uh, it's there's no room to grow. Right. There's no room to expand. So the only thing that we can do is raise the rates. OK, only thing that we can do is raise the rates. Now, as you can see, at thirty two thirty two thousand dollars a a year annual income, it's eleven thousand square feet. I mean, the average rent per square foot is only thirty two cents per square foot. It's only thirty two cents per square foot. OK, what we want to get to is minimum eighty five thousand. I know for a fact that it should be right around this number because this is the type of facility that I buy on a regular basis. OK, and uh, it should be making at least that much money. Right. But um, but in, and what I did is I actually compared the competitors and I looked at what the competitors were charging based on, uh, you know, based on their websites and stuff like that. And that's where I came up to, they came up with the 60, the 70 cents per square foot. Now, um, so my goal would be when I purchase this property is to get it from 30, 32,000 to 85,000 uh, income, annual income in the year. Okay. And um, now you can see like there is no real CapEx. There's no initial clean out. When I buy the facility, one of our stipulations is that, you know, all the trash is going to be gone. Uh, the units are all going to be cleaned up. Everything's going to be good. Now we might have to do some auctions, you know, but I mean, essentially it's only 25% full, you know, so it's not going to be a lot, a lot of time and effort to get this thing um, you know, vacant, you know, to, to get this thing uh, leased up. And uh, so everything is going to be all cleaned out. So he's already been through that process. So I did not put a lot of CapEx or initial clean out on this. I mean, I feel like as soon as we buy this thing, we should be able to start really marketing it properly and getting it leased up. The property taxes we know were $2,500, utilities $1,200, insurance about $1,500. Okay, and this is what this is basically the opportunity right here at 116 units, 11,000 square feet at 70 cents a square foot. We should be making around, we should be ha have a value of around $781,000. You see, we're taking it from a two cap to a 16 cap. And in fact, most of the, mi the mismanaged properties that I buy are going to be between negative two and four caps. Okay. 
And, um, and the goal is to really get them to, to the highest possible cap rate that I can so that I can sell it at an eight cap or a seven cap or a six cap or whatever it's going to be in the next three years, right? That's, that's kind of how I look at it, right? You want to, for a mismanaged facility, you want to, you're going to buy it somewhere in the zero cap rate or, you know, horrible cap rates if it's a severely mismanaged facility, right? And you're gonna to wanna to get it to the highest possible cap rate that you can and then sell it at the typical cap rate in that area, okay? If that makes sense. 